morning my name is yam narasimha rao lecturer in physics today we are discussing the moment of inertia of this solid cone rotating about its axis capital r represents the base radius of this solid cone now small h represents the height of the solid cone capital m is the mass of the right circular solid cone now we are finding the moment of inertia of this solid cone now this is the solid cone it is rotating about the axis now moment of inertia means it gives the information how difficult to change the rotational velocity of an object rotating about the given axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation now we are finding the moment of inertia of a right circular cone now this is the solid cone this is the solid cone it is a one circular disk it is another circular disk it is another circular disk this solid cone is the combination of so many elementary circular disk i am considering one small elementary circular disk whose radius is x and the thickness of this circular circular disk is dy this what you are calling as circular disk which is the elementary part of this solid cone which is at a distance of y from the apex or from the top of the cone h represents the height of the cone so fall i will find the mass per unit volume next i will find the mass of this elementary circular disk next i will find the moment of inertia of this elementary circular disk about this axis of rotation finally i will calculate the total moment of inertia of this uh, uh, solid circular cone a b c triangle triangle a b c comma a o d triangle a o d r r similar triangles similar triangles what is the meaning of similar triangles similar triangles means ratio of corresponding sides are equal now please listen here a b c a now please listen a b c a b c now this is this is this distance is x a b c is a right angle triangle a o d is a right angle triangle both are right angle triangle both are similar triangles similar triangles means ratio of corresponding sides are equal similar triangles means ratio of corresponding sides are equal ratio of corresponding sides are equal now please listen here here corresponding sides means cb and od both are corresponding sides cb and do are corresponding sides cb and do x by r is equals to x by r is equals to x by r is equals to y by h y by h r goes to numerator x is equals to r goes to numerator capital r into y by h now this is the equation number 1 it is the equation number 1 now i will find the mass per 
unit volume of this solid cone. Mass per unit volume. Mass. Mass per unit volume. Unit volume of solid cone. Now please listen. Mass per unit volume. Its meaning is total mass divided by total volume. That is equals to total mass of the cone. Total mass divided by total volume. Here please listen. Total mass of the cone. Total mass of the cone is capital M. Total volume of the solid cone. Volume of the solid cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. 1 by 3 pi r square h. Volume of the solid cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. The reason is r is the radius of the solid cone. H is the height of the solid cone. Now that is equals to what? 1 by 3 comes to numerator. 3 by 1. 1 by 3 comes to numerator. 3 by 1. 3 by 1 into capital M by pi r square h. It is the mass per unit volume. What is the meaning of mass per unit volume? Let us consider a unit cube. Unit cube. 1 centimeter length. 1 centimeter breadth. 1 centimeter height. This cube we are calling as unit cube. This total volume we are calling as the unit volume. This is the mass of this unit volume. Yes. Volume of the elementary circular disc. Now I am finding the volume of this elementary circular disc. Circular disc. Now please listen. General formula. Volume is equal to length into breadth into height. Now please all the members please listen. Now volume of elementary disc. Small volume. Small volume means dv. Length into breadth means area. Height. Height is nothing but thickness. Height is nothing but thickness. That is a dy. Now that is equals to area of this circular disc. It is a circle. Area of the circle pi r square. It is the circle, area of the circle pi r square, here radius is in x, area of this disc is pi x square, area of this disc is pi x square, dy, this is the elementary volume of this disc, which is the part of the solid cone. Now please listen. Now mass per unit volume means? It is the mass of unit volume. If you need the mass of two units volume, it is multiplied with two. If you need the mass of three units volume, it is multiplied with three. If you need the mass of four units volume, it is multiplied with four. If you need the mass of this small volume dv, it is multiplied with dv. It is multiplied with dv. Mass of mass of Elementary, elementary circular disc, elementary circular disc. Now please listen, I am finding mass of this one. It is the mass of unit volume, mass of two units volume, it is multiplied with two. Mass of dv volume, it is multiplied with dv. Mass of elementary circular disc, it is the small amount of mass. Its mass is a dm. It is a, now mass of this elementary disc means mass per unit volume is multiplied with dv. 3m by pi r square h. 3m by pi r square h. Multiplied with dv. Are you following this one? It is the mass of unit volume. If you need a mass of 2 units volume, it is multiplied with 2. A mass of 3 units volume, multiplied with 3. Mass of this dv volume, multiplied with dv. Mass of elementary circular disc is equal to 
थ्री एम बाई पाई आर स्क्वायर हेच डीवी डीवी मीन्स वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस एलिमेंटरी सर्क्यूलर डिस्क पाई एक्स स्क्वायर डी वाई पाई एक्स स्क्वायर डी वाई पाई पाई गेट्स कैंसिल्ड डी एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम थ्री एम आर स्क्वायर हेच इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर डी वाई नाउ दिस इज द इक्वेशन नंबर टू इट इज द इक्वेशन नंबर टू नाउ I will find this is the elementary circular disc which is rotating about an axis. The axis is passing through the center. Plane of the disc is perpendicular to the axis of rotation. Now, now it is the circular disc. This is the axis of rotation. Axis is passing through the center of the circular disc. and the plane of the disc is perpendicular to the axis of rotation then moment of inertia of this circular disc is then then moment of inertia moment of inertia of elementary elementary circular disc moment of inertia of elementary circular disc now the axis is passing through the center of the disc and the plane of the disc is perpendicular to axis of rotation then moment of inertia is equals to half m r square here man it is the small elementary disc its moment of inertia its moment of inertia di is equals to Half into dm into x square. Generally, moment of inertia of the circular disc formula is a half m r square. Moment of inertia of this elementary disc is half mass n square of the radius. Radius is x. Now, I need the moment of inertia of entire solid cone. Its height is changing from zero to h. You consider, you consider it is y-axis. You consider it is x-axis. It is y-axis. It is x-axis. Now all the members, please listen. I need the moment of inertia of entire solid cone. Its height is changing from now zero to h. Solid cone total entire moment of inertia of the cone that is equal integrating on both sides. Integration means to summation total. Now integral d i integral d i is equals to integral of half. dm into x square lower limit zero upper limit h its height is changing from zero to h zero to h now please listen integration of di integration means summation total moment of inertia total moment of inertia is i that is equals to half is a number constant taken outside half integral of Zero to h dm mass of the elementary disc dm dm is three m by r square h x square d by three m by r square h three m by r square h three m by r square h x square d y x square d y now it is a dm x square to x square now please listen here three is a number Number means constant. Constant is taken outside. M is the mass of the solid cone. Mass of the solid cone is constant. Mass of the cone does not changes. Base radius does not changes. Height of the cone, total height. Now please listen here. Three m by r square h. These three are the constant terms taken outside. I is equals to half into three m. By r square h integral of zero to h three m r square h gone out x square into x square 
x to the power of 4 x square and x square x to the power of 4 dy i am writing dy i i am writing i 3m into 1 3m 2r square h 2r square h integration integration 0 to h x x x means r y by h x means r y by h x means r y by h x x means R Y by H whole to the power of 4 dy I am writing dy I is equals to 3 M by 2 R square H integral of 0 to H R to the power of 4 R to the power of 4. R to the power of 4. R to the power of 4. Y to the power of 4. By H to the power of 4. Into dy. Into dy. I is equals to 3M by 2 R square H. R to the power of 4 taken outside r square into r square r to the power of 4 it is r to the power of 4 can be written as r square into r square h to the power of 4 i am writing h to the power of 4 remaining is 0 to h y to the power of 4 into dy now r square r square cancelled i is equals to 3m, 3m, r square by 2 into h to the power of 1 into h to the power of 4. h to the power of 1 into h to the power of 4. Nothing but h to the power of 5. In mathematics, there is a one formula. In mathematics, there is a one formula. The formula is the formula is integral of x power n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. Integral of x power n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1. x power n means n plus 1 by n plus 1. x power 2 means 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1. x power 4 means 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1. Similarly, integral of y power 4 can be written as y to the power of 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1. Now the limits are now the limits are 0 to h i is equals to 3m r square by 2h to the power of 5. 4 plus 1 5. Constant taken outside. Taken outside. Taken outside. Now please listen. Y to the power of 4 plus 1 5. 0 to h. That is equals to, that is equals to, now, 3m r square, 3m r square by 5 into 2, 10, 5 into 2, 10, h to the power of 5. Now, there are two limits. Whenever there are two limits, upper limit minus lower limits. In the place of y, you write upper limit. Y, y, y means h, y power 5, y means h h to the power of 5, upper limit, minus, in the place of y, you write 0, 0 to the power of 5. Total moment of inertia of the solid cone is equal to 3m r square, 3m r square by 10, h to the power of 5 into, no value for 0, no value for 0, no value for 0, no h to the power of 5 h to the power of 5, h to the power of 5 cancelled. Now, i is equals to 3 by 10 m r square. This is the moment of inertia of this solid cone. Solid cone where m represents the mass of the solid cone or represents the base radius. Thank you.